power switch. It's all fixed now. Thanks, Tobar. It's great. Yeah. Have fun. I can't believe you two pulled me out of bed to hear this. I just can't hear it right. It's probably your cold blocking your ears. If only. Quick, Mizuki. Oh. How do you reckon it'd go with Soul? DJ Spike Master says yes. <laughs> Drop it, boy! Drop it! Give us it back! You little mongrel! Give me the cord! No! No! Give us it! It's gotta go higher. Look, Brooke, this'll do. No, it won't. I am going to make sure this is the best end of term party this school has ever seen. Everything has to be just right. Now get that banner up there! Carla, what's happening with the food? DJ Spike Master's at your service. Party music's taken care of. Get that junk outside. Who died and made you queen? I'm the school captain. It's my duty to organise this party. A good party has a DJ. I think we should have Spike, right? Yeah. I think it's a great idea. Well, I'll have to think about it. Just put it over there for now and don't get in the way. Come on. All right, everyone, line up, please. You six, nice line along here, please. I don't think this is a drill. Oh, yes. I've dreamed about this. Thank you. What about my party? Mrs. Church, I need to get my assignment. No, everyone just stay where they are and settle down. Mrs. Church, look, the classroom's on fire. Just, just, just stay in line. Someone's in there. <laughs> Mrs. Church, somebody's still inside the classroom. No, 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 no. The whole class is here. Just stay where you are. Look, it stops. Pia, I've counted. It's okay. Spike, Pia, no! <laughs> some ice cream when you rescue a kid from a burning building. Pity you couldn't rescue my DJ gear. Hi. What's wrong? Mr. Alexander's cancelled my end of term party. It wasn't your end of term party. The whole world doesn't revolve around you, Brooke. Sure I can't have some? No. Don't worry, Brooke. We can have a party when the classroom's repainted. And it won't just be for you. We're going to have a party now. But the classroom? I could have it at my place. My parents would be cool. Yeah, that's what I'll do. What a pity your turntables got fried. You won't be able to DJ. In fact, you probably won't even be invited. See ya. Mm. I'll tell 
Mr. Alexander to call me straight away if you need to come home and rest. Well, fine, Mum. I don't need any rest. Look, there she is. Pia! Morning, Pia. Mr. Freeman, you must be very proud of Pia, Mr. Freeman. As always, Mr. Alexander. She did a very brave thing yesterday. Not many other kids would put their life at risk for another student. That's our girl. Pia, the fire brigade want to present you with a bravery award. Really? It's a first for one of our kids, Pia. It's very good for the school. I've already had the local paper calling up for a comment. It wasn't really a big deal. Nonsense. You're a hero. Enjoy it. She deserves all the thanks we can give. Don't you agree? Oh, yes. Yes, I haven't had the chance to thank you here. It was mostly snobs. Uh, Mr Alexander, have you had a quote on the damaged classroom yet? Not yet, no. Then I'd like to offer Rolo and myself for the job. We could cut a good deal with the school. Is that so? Uh, Mr Alexander, I really think qualified tradesmen should be employed. Well, we could really do with the cash, and as Pia has... I think it's an excellent idea, and what better way to show our thanks. Don't you agree, Mrs Oakley? Can we see your medal when you get it? Sure. Is it going to be made out of solid gold? Maybe. Wow. Can we see where you live? Bad luck, mate. Yeah, bad luck. It's not that bad. I can fix it. I'm going to DJ that party. Over my dead body. Now that the party's at my place, we can use our new sound system. We won't be needing you or that pile of junk. Mum ordered it on the net. It's fantastic. There's a DVD player, CD player, widescreen plasma TV and surround speakers. You won't believe the sound. Well, what do you think? It's gone. Mum, has there been a break-in? No. Your father returned the sound system to the shop. Wasn't it working? Not exactly. Maybe we should talk about this later. Mum, I need it for my party. Tell Dad he'll have to go and get it back. Darling, I'm afraid we won't be getting it back just now. Your father wasn't happy when he heard what it cost. He's decided we need to make a few changes. So I don't think we should be having any parties for a while. It's just not fair. My life's over. It's not that bad. How would you know? Your father hasn't put you on a budget. By the end of the week, I'll probably be begging for food. Like a feral. You're overreacting. I bet you won't even have to give up your riding lessons. Hi, guys. Got party lights. Dad lent them to us from the cafe. What's the matter? We're still having the party, aren't we? Of course we are. Oh, good. Just... Go and tell your dad the cafe's going to have to do the catering because my mum's too busy. You can put it on our account. Dead, dead, dead. All the parts are dead. Does Pia sleep in a tent too? What do you want? Pia said we could see a medal. Well, she hasn't got it yet, so scram. My sister's in your class and she said Pia built that. We built it. Sorry, Spike. Have to help you fix it later. Hello there. Yeah, OK. Nice little earner, this. Thanks to Pia. Mm, thanks to Pia. Those parts, they're all dead. Yeah, I know. Look, Pia won't be back till later, so can you guys just scram? OK, but tell Pia if she wants some new parts. My dad's an electrician and he might be able to give her some for free. Hang on a second. You're mad. Your mom's going to have a mentor. What can I do? I promised everyone I'd have the party at my place. If I cancel now, I'll look like a complete idiot. How are you going to pay for all the food? I've got $100 saved up. I'll use that if I have to. They'll understand if you cancel. They'll hate me. Anyway, I don't know why I should have to suffer just because Mum and Dad have decided to go on a budget. It's amazing. I'm beginning to like Pia becoming a hero. People in this town are actually giving us stuff for free. Good stuff. Yeah, it's weird. Where is she anyway? Why couldn't she help you go get this stuff? Well, she had to go get a medal. Can we put this down for a sec? I need to blow my nose. DJ Spike Master's back. I've never had anyone give me stuff before. And don't get used to it either. I might if I feel like it. This could just be the start. You think some stupid medal's gonna make everyone in this town think differently about you ferals? You're just the same thieving, stinking waste of space you always were. And if everyone's too stupid to see it, we'll prove it.
Wakey, wakey. I bought Tommy to cheer you up. Well, it's really for snobs. He deserves it as much as I do. He likes it. Thanks, Pia. It's fixed. What's fixed? My DJ stuff. It all works. At least, it will when we get some power. The Spike Master's back. Abby's already left for school. Oh, it's only a quick test, Mrs. Walston. It won't take long. Oh, I hope it won't make too much noise. I'm going back to my peaceful cup of tea. Thanks, Mrs. Walston. Okay. Let there be power. Fixed. Spike, look out! What's happening? Uh oh. The fuse is fixed. Now you lot better get off to school. Yes, yes Mrs. Wilson. Bye. Thanks, I've got a bad feeling we caused that fire in the classroom. No, this was just a little surge, that's all. I must have missed some damaged parts. Spike, where's blame? The fire in the school was our fault. An excellent job. Well done. I need to talk. Uh, uh, not now, Pia. There you are, Mr Freeman. Thanks very much. This will get us through a tight patch. Hey, Pia, let's see the medal. OK. Here it is, isn't it, boy? Wow. Is it real gold? Maybe. You can touch it if you want. Hey, guys. Don't forget the party tonight starts at 6 o'clock at my place. 6 o'clock, my place. <laughs> oh, Dad needs to know whether you want the gourmet quiches or just the plain party pies. Me color. What do you think? You asked your mum yet? I told you I'm paying for the party myself. I don't need to ask anyone. We came to see Snobs and his medal. This is from my dad. What is it? Hey, it's a power pack. Thanks. Well, my dad said you might need it. If you've got no power at your camp. What good would it do to tell them that we started the fire? It's the truth. Maybe. We can't be certain. All right, we're certain. But really, nobody got hurt. Toba and Rollo got some work. We got a freshly painted classroom, and I got some great new parts for my setup. Everybody wins. But it was our fault. Yeah, face it. Thanks to that fire, we've never had it so good. They don't hate us anymore. We can't wreck that. All right, we won't say anything. Oh boy, tuck in. Which is exactly, I assume, what happened in your classroom. Yeah, but that was before I fixed it. You have got to get rid of it. No way! I'm not having you use it again. It's incredibly dangerous. If you don't get rid of it, the school will have to know it started the fire. Mr Alexander? Yes. You know how quickly news travels. What do you want us to do? PR! We have to, Spike. There's no other way. I don't care what you do with it. As long as you get rid of it responsibly. I don't want any more fires. I can't watch.
Go on, do it. It's for the best. DJ Spike Masters signing off. Brooke? I've got the decorations. What happened? I had no idea the food would cost so much. Oh, no. All for a slimy bit of egg with a stupid name. How much? $239, including drinks. Ouch. I don't have that much money, Abby. You can have my pocket money, but it's not much. What am I going to do? Mum will be home soon. I know someone who might have an idea. You never told your mother about any of this? No. Oh, you children, you don't know the value of money these days. You're a very silly girl. You know that, don't you? Yes. All right. I'll pay for the food. Oh, thank you so much. I'll pay you back every cent, I promise. Oh, yes, I know you will. Thanks, Gran. You know, if I'm buying all this food, I think we should have the party here. Here? But you don't even have a stereo. Are you saying my house isn't good enough? No, Brooke doesn't mean that. She just doesn't want you to go to any trouble. I'll charge admission. That'll cover the cost of the food. Oh, surely the kids in this town can afford it. Yes, that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll charge admission. You can't charge admission. What will my friends think? What will your mother think if she has to pay for all this? Fine. We'll have the party here. Good. I reckon we could melt it down and sell the gold? It's probably just plastic. tonight. What? Really? Yes, really. Can you do it? Of course I can do it. Then be at Abby's grand's place at six. Knew you'd come round. Just be there, would you? I can't have a party without music. Yes. Oh, no. Looks like it blew up. You can tell by the black smoke. Let me see that. when the fire started, and it definitely blew up. Mr. Alexander's gonna spew. What are you doing here? I went to dig up my DJ stuff. Spy! It was gone! Sam and Ryan must have found it. That's just great. I don't know what's worse, you or them burning down another building. Hey, you should be thanking me. If I hadn't come here, I wouldn't have found this. That's why you dragged me here. So what do we do now? Know which way they went? <laughs> that way, I guess. I was on my way home, boys. Can't this wait until Monday. Not if you'd like to understand what or who might have started the fire in this classroom the other day, Mr Alexander. Yes, I would like to know that. the amplifier scorched. Looks like something started to burn inside. We can test it if you want. Do I need to get a professional opinion or are these boys right? Did your contraption start the fire?
There you go, snobs. You did save Charlie's life, and you're still a hero to me. Hey! Aren't you guys coming to the party? Nah, we can't afford the entry fee. Grant said if you help with the cleaning up, you can get him for free. And you can still be DJ. What's that? It's my grand's. It's a portable record player. Oh, cool. There are some speakers at Grant's place. You just plug in this, and away you go. All right, the Spike Master's back. Oh, this is way. Not again! Oh, Give me the cord, Snow! 